fractions. Using the fraction wall, what are they? Represent equal parts of a whole or a collection. Why? Helps in sharing something equally. Interesting fact. Bald eagles build very large nests, sometimes weighing as much as 1,000 pounds or 453 kilograms. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the fraction wall. As you can see, we're going to be dealing with 1 halves, thirds, fourths, sixths, and twelves. Now let's go ahead and compare 1 to, to each fraction. So we're going to start out with the halves, and we're going to start counting how many halves are in one whole. So let's start counting. 1, 2, so that you can see there's two equal uh, parts to get one whole. Now let's compare 1 to the, to the thirds, and let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, so as you can see there are three equal parts to get one. Now we're going to compare one to the fourths, and we'll count, start counting. One, two, three, and four. Now there are four equal parts to one. And maybe you're seeing a pattern. So let's go ahead and do one uh, next one, comparing one to the sixth. Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that means there are six equal parts to one. And then we have, we're comparing one to the twelfths. So how many equal parts are we going to have for one? Well, let's see. And if you start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that means there are twelve equal parts to get one. And if you guess twelve, well done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started uh, with, the, with the examples. Let's read the steps. Step one, highlight both fractions. Step two, count how many fit in the same area. Let's read the question. Use the fraction wall to find the equivalent fraction. We, are, we need, uh, so let's look at the, the fractions on the right. One half is equal to something over six. So we need to compare the halves to the six. So let's go ahead and highlight both of those. And now we're going to count how many six are in one half. So let's start counting. One, two, and three. So one half is equal to three over six. Take a look at the next question. Use the fraction wall to find the equivalent fraction. We're going to be dealing with uh, one half is equal to something over 12. So let's go ahead and highlight both of those fractions. And now we need to count how many twelves are in one half. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So one half is equal to six over 12. So let's take a look at the example three. Use the fraction wall to find the equivalent fraction. So we have two thirds is equal to something over six. So let's go ahead and highlight the thirds in the six and, and uh, see how many six are in, are in two thirds. So set, go ahead and start counting. One, two, three, and four. So two thirds is equal to four over six. Now let's take a look at example four. Use the fraction wall to find the equivalent fraction. So we're going to be doing, uh, now we need to look at the fractions on the right. 3 over 4 is equal to something over 12. So we're going to be comparing the fourths and the twelfths. We've highlighted the 3 of the fourths because it says 3 fourths. And now we count how many twelfths are in, are in there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So 3 fourths is equal to 9 over 12. Okay, now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer these questions. I will show you the answers in three, two, and one. If you got these answers, well done. And if you didn't, there's always tomorrow.